We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to do another step on the banner of the Sanguinary Ancient. We did the background, and now I want to show you how I would paint the wings on this angel white. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. We're going to start with some blue grays. Our first color is going to be rust gray. I wanna make sure that I mix it with a thinning medium before I apply it. In this case, I'm using Lamian medium, but you can use any medium that you like. And I just want to apply this all over all of the areas that I want to be white. Right now, it's going to seem like it blends in with the colors I chose for the background, but that's okay. As we highlight it, it's going to start to stand out more. The reason why I'm starting with a blue-gray is because it's a lot easier for me to build up to the white, especially since I'm starting with a pure black color. And also another tip I usually tell people when they're painting white is that the goal is not necessarily to paint the area white, it's to make the area look white, which is different because we still wanna have elements of highlighting and shading and you can't highlight the model any brighter than pure white. So we have to start a little bit darker so that we have somewhere to go and we can still create depth and dimension on the area even though we want it to be the brightest color that we can possibly achieve. Our next color is going to be Fenrisian Gray and I'm painting this over most of this winged area. I want to leave that rust gray in all of the shadows and all of the transitional areas so that there is a little bit of a darker section that separates each of these feathers and the area on the outside of the wing. But other than that, I want this Fenrisian gray to really brighten up this color and to do a lot of the heavy lifting on this white. I wanna make sure that I also thin this color. I wanna thin all of my base paints just to make sure that they apply really well. But because I'm thinning them, and because this is a really light color, I wanna make sure that I apply this in a couple different controlled layers to really build up the brightness. After I've built up the Fenrisian Gray, my next color is gonna be Ulthawan Gray. This color is going to read as white as I apply it. So I really want to make sure that I concentrate it in some of the areas that I want to be a more highlighted area and leave a little bit of the Fenrisian gray in some areas to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to concentrate this on the top of the areas that are sculpted to be on the top of a fold in the cloth. And then I also wanna make sure that I catch the outer edges of each of these feathers and really outline that sharp edge and leave the area that's a little bit lower that's transitioning underneath the feather next to it a little bit darker. This is another color that I wanna build up slowly, apply in several controlled layers. Also, it's often useful to apply this just really lightly in a very small area at first to kind of see how it looks and then you can build it out and paint more of the model a little bit later if you decide that that particular area needs to be a little bit brighter. And then my next highlight is Ceramet White. Again, this is the brightest that we can possibly paint this model. So we wanna make sure that we're using this just on the areas that we want it to be the brightest. We're going to let the Ulthawan Gray be our white and this be our super highlight to really exaggerate the tops of the folds and the very tips of the feathers. Just anywhere that we feel like needs another element of brightness, another visual pop. But we don't want to use this color over everything because even though that would make the wings entirely white, we would lose all of the depth that we created using those darker colors. And then the last color we wanna use is going to be Drakenhof Nightshade. And I'm using this color to deepen my shadows. I don't want to apply too much of it, but I am going to darken this area around the outer edge of the wing 
just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. And then some of the areas where the different tiers of feathers are separated from each other, I wanna put a little bit of this there as well. And kind of anywhere else where I feel like I need a little bit more depth, adding a tiny bit of this Drakenhof nightshade is going to actually make all of the brighter colors stand out more. So if there's anywhere where I feel like it's fading into each other or the colors are kind of dull, I can add just a hint of shadow and everything else around it will seem brighter. All right, with that last little bit of shadow, the white on these wings is complete. And then using some of the techniques that we applied on the rest of the model, we can go ahead and finish up the banner. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have one more on the Sanguinary Ancient where I'm going to paint the Angelus Bolt Gun in the Mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the Mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming!